If you don't find a way to earn money while you sleep, you will work until you die. The man behind this famous quote, Warren Buffett, is one of the richest individuals in the world. People know Warren Buffett as both a notable businessman and a great person. But he is best known for being one of the veteran investors in the world. So it shouldn't be a surprise that Warren Buffett's investment strategies are highly regarded by the investing public. Buffett follows a few great rules and an investment philosophy that hundreds of thousands or even millions of people around the world will follow in 2022. He is already a winner, despite the very fluctuated stock market volatility. Is he your investment idol? Stay tuned till the very end to learn some tricky yet straightforward investment strategies. In today's video, we'll talk about Warren Buffett's strategies to invest in the stock market. But before we begin, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any upcoming videos every week. Do you know what the essential steps in founding the right business are? Don't overburden yourself with difficult terminologies. Understanding the business is the first and most important step as Buffett and Monger emphasize in their methodology. The second step is to ensure that you have a sustainable advantage over your competitors. The third is to have management in place that has a great deal of talent as well as ethics, if at all possible. And finally, it is to have a price that is reasonable in order to guarantee a certain level of safety given that we are unable to put an endless price on it. When life's inherent business attitudes are taken into consideration, these four concepts make up a pretty straightforward collection of principles. People might think it's stupid and silly, but trust the man with the mind, it's not. There are straightforward and these four aspects do not alter regardless of the condition of the market. This is true whether we are talking about the year 1984 or the current year. This is owning to the fact that these four principles continue to serve as cornerstones despite a few additions here and there as a result of the volatility of the market. There will almost certainly be a number of increases in interest rates implemented this year as a consequence of the absurdly inflated stock market and the persistent level of inflation. The issue of inflated stock markets comes up first on our list of concerns. When everything becomes costly, how does an investor supposed to make profitable investments? If you're an active investor, there is a good chance that you will not have many opportunities to purchase inexpensive stocks in your area of expertise this year. This is because there are not as many of them available. According to Warren Buffett, in the years ahead, we hope to move much of our excess liquidity into firms that Berkshire will permanently own. Because of this, the immediate prospects for that are not looking very promising because the prices continue to rise for enterprises that have respectable long-term potential. It doesn't matter if you can't compare yourself to Warren Buffett and his hobby of buying entire companies because what you're doing is the same as buying a share in a company. Over the past two years, the billionaire has, without a doubt, had a difficult time deciding where to put his money. However, even though he may have been in such a difficult situation, he did not waste his wealth by purchasing overpriced stocks, which is an absolute no when it comes to investing. This is indeed the most common mistake we do. As investors, we should not buy an overpriced stock just for the sake of investing. Instead, he is diligently building up his financial reserves while patiently awaiting favorable circumstances to invest in them. In only five years, the cash pile of his company, Berkshire Hathaway, has increased from $84.4 billion in the third quarter of 2016 to $149.2 billion in the third quarter of 2021. Charles Munger, one of Buffett's business partners, is of the option that the best time to make money is not when you purchase or sell, but rather when you wait. Do you agree with this opinion? Take your time and enjoy your success. Be patient. Wait for the perfect opportunities to present themselves and resist the temptation to make mediocre investments in a significantly overvalued market. Because in the style of Buffett, accumulating a large number of excellent stocks over the course of one's lifetime is not required. It is better to have three successful and fantastic enterprises, which are already more than what you need in life to do very well, so remain patient until the market offers you a terrific investment at a reasonable price. 
Instead, it is preferable to have three successful and wonderful businesses. Passive investing is the second type of investment approach that Buffett frequently promotes to other people. The best course of action for these investors is to continue investing throughout the year so that they can take advantage of dollar cost averaging and participate in the market. On March 11, 1942, Buffett made his very first stock investment, which turned out to be the best decision he ever made. After he started investing, he stopped paying attention to the news and stopped thinking about his stocks. Do you have any idea how much money his previous investment of $10,000 in an index fund would be worth today? The return amount was significant, but this decision wasn't. You can do it too. His returns have grown to a sizable number of $51 million, which is an absolutely inspiring example for passive investors because it does not involve trying to invest at the ideal time. The nature of the dollar cost averaging technique is such that it requires you, as an investor, to keep buying and tracking the market for investments at the same period regardless of whether it is raining, shining, or hailing. You will harvest when you sow. If you continue to do this over a period of a decade, you will obtain the average return of the market, which is approximately 7-8% to every year. If we follow Warren's suggestion, we should select a broad index to invest in, but we shouldn't put all of our money into that index. Considering that the purpose of an index is to place your faith in a company with the expectation that it will be successful in the future, although you won't be able to predict when the best times to buy or sell are, it is best to spread out your investments over a longer period of time. Control and patience are the keys. Having a general impression that this company is a reasonable place to have your money invested over a lengthy period of time is the most crucial thing to accomplish before making any financial commitments. Be careful not to engage in any irrational betting or decision making by putting all of your money into passive investors. Don't worry your pretty little head about the volatile state of the market, just keep doing what you've been doing. Do not read the headlines and do not glance at the charts. Instead, focus on sticking to your strategy and maintaining a positive outlook over the long run. It is important to keep in mind that the market is not an adversary. Therefore, even if we were to crash by 50% tomorrow, it would not be the end of the world. Think about it. It took the Global Financial Crisis, or GFCS, often known as the biggest financial disaster in the world, has seen since the Great Depression, only five and a half years for the market to recover and it has tripled itself since then. If you're an investor with a passive strategy, all you need to do is be patient, and in the long run, you will be amply rewarded for your efforts. The following topic is inflation. The United States is currently experiencing an annual inflation rate of up to 6.8%, and it is quite expected that this rate will continue to climb during the remainder of 2022. This was Warren Buffett's prediction back in May of 2021. And he based it on the fact that in economics, you can't just do one thing. Instead, you have to ask, and then what? The efforts of having zero interest rates and printing an endless supply of money have now caught up with us. There is a significant amount of inflation during these times. According to Warren Buffett, a company's capability should fall into two categories. First, they should be able to easily raise prices even when demand is unchanged and capacity is not being used to its fullest, without having to worry about losing a significant amount of market share or unit volume. This is because they should not have to worry about losing customers. Second, businesses need to have the ability to manage significant dollar volume increases in their operations with only a moderate rise in their available capital. These kinds of increases are frequently brought about by inflation rather than by genuine growth. Facebook is a great illustration of a corporation that has successfully developed a business strategy that is very scalable. They don't need to create another app in order to grow their revenue. All they have to do is increase the number of times their advertisements are displayed. This is in contrast to Ford, which needs additional factories and workers in order to produce new automobiles in order to double its revenue. Interest rates come in at number three and are the final thing on Warren Buffett's list. Because current interest rates are at zero and huge money managers receive no return on money invested in bonds, 
the Federal Reserve has indicated that there will definitely be three interest rate hikes in the year 2022. Therefore, the money that they would typically have in bonds would make its way into the stock market in order to chase returns, and this will lead to a rise in valuations. This is the dynamic that Buffett is referring to when he uses a simple analogy to explain the situation. If the force of gravity represents substance, then interest rates represent changes in stock market prices. If there is a lower gravity, jumping will be easy, but if there is a higher gravity, jumping will be more difficult. This is exactly what the stock market is experiencing at the moment. Because the interest rates are at a historically low level, it will be quite simple for stock market valuations to increase. At the moment, there is a significant amount of capital in the market. However, as 2022 progresses, we will be moving in the opposite direction. It will become increasingly difficult for valuations to increase in tandem with rising interest rates, which are expected to begin their ascent soon. If there is an increase in the interest rate, then money will flow out of equities and back into bonds, which will put valuations under pressure for the following year. Since Warren Buffett has demonstrated that he is a specialist in this area, it is in your best interest as an investor to pay attention to the guidance he provides. But you should keep those thoughts separate from any others you might have. After all, every single one of us is unique. Perhaps there is a method for you to become another great star in the market, and you have a chance to do so. Wouldn't it be nice to see yourself in Warren Buffett's shoes? Is becoming wealthy and leading a stress-free life your dream? Leave a comment. All right, everyone, this brings us to the end of our video. Thank you for keeping your watch until the end. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you will never miss any videos. We will see you in the next video.